Right, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to Will and Jim. Today, we've got a classic for you. It's my strange addiction. And I know what you're thinking. No, not horse tranquilizer. It's an American TV show. Will's addicted to Palm Angels. Oh, uh, yeah, you bought me this, right? I did actually, yeah, I really like it. It almost looks like my head's the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was bear funny. Oh that was to D4. That, to D4. Can you read me a bedtime story? Well, I don't want to go to bed. Mom what? said we needed to. Why is there a cockroach? Ah! Oh, I'm not, no, I don't like this. I don't like it, I don't like it, Will. This is someone's addiction. It's not the kid's addiction, is it? Well, we don't know what the addiction's gonna be yet. That's the thing, is this is just a horror film right now. This is a nightmare. Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. I am nine years old and I collect cockroaches. Oh, ah, you're uh, uh, oh, uh, oh. She, she just kissed it. She didn't scran it. I thought she scranned it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did her break in the fourth wall for you there really freak you out? I feel like she was looking deep into me. Because you know what it is, right? Kids are terrifying. Kids are terrifying. I hate kids. I like roaches because when they crawl my arms, they tickle me, and when I hold them, they can be real happy. Um... Uh. I could do without him, but... He looks a bit like a cockroach. Will. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Oh my god, get those! Get them all! Oh, what? They've got babies as well! But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. No, no, I, I fundamentally disagree. Just because they are a child does not mean you have to put up with it. Yeah, partner for being a weirdo. You let them be a freak when they're an adult, all right? I'm not having cockroaches in my damn house. Like if you allow this, she's just gonna get viciously bullied. Oh my god, yeah. My favorite thing about roaches is that they are unique and special. They're not unique, they all literally look the fucking same. <laughs> my favorite thing about cockroaches is that someday in the near future that they will all go away. Is, is that having a shit? <laughs> yeah, is he is like giving birth or something? <laughs> wow! <laughs> He's got a turtle head. Oh, no. Bro, you couldn't put it in a container which is used for food. If I had a box of cockroaches inside egg boxes, I could not look at the eggs in my fridge in the same way ever again. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have been. These are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They hiss! Why do they fucking hiss? And sometimes they're too noisy, I will hiss oh at them. God. Oh my god! They shed their exoskeleton and they turn snow white for just a couple of hours and then they get their normal color back. Wow, that's quite cool. That is quite cool, I didn't know that. She knows her shit to be fair to her, she knows her cockroaches. But, you can know this stuff without having thousands of the fuckers. Fair point, fair point. This is a taxidermy beetle. I use them to clean out the dead bugs in my cage so it doesn't smell so bad. She's like a 42-year-old murderer trapped in a child's body. They're called taxidermy beetles because they eat the flesh off bones. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, you just gotta brush over that. Lovely hobby you've got there. <laughs> my name is Jennifer. And I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Do you know, I can kind of understand that, you know? I used to quite like eating sponges. Will. What? You want that on the record? Will and he eat sponges? That's not that bad. Like, it's not cockroaches. Jennifer eats about a squ- <laughs> <laughs> That must be like a mattress every two weeks, right? Do you reckon she like goes into like a, a bed shop and is like, mm, uh, yeah, no, I want the one with the, the Egyptian cotton. She's scrammed eight mattresses. <laughs> eight mattresses. That's like a full room of mattresses. I'd love, if I could have eight mattresses in my room, that'd be fantastic. I like my mattress plain and straight up. Do you reckon, right? <laughs> do you reckon she's comfortable? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> do you reckon you could lie to her and be like, oh. <laughs> she's just got memory foam tits. I make sure like when my mom's not gonna be in her room where I can be in her room. So like, let's say when she get in the shower, um, tiptoeing in here to get it. Was that like mattress for the road? Well, the reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. <laughs> I'm very concerned about her health and like her digestive system. I have seen it in the toilet. <laughs> 
that's gross. What? It, it comes out whole. It, you can't break it down. Well, I mean, it's pro it's like synthetic. So it's not something you could digest, surely. Yeah, I suppose not. Jennifer's addiction began at age five when she ate the same. <laughs> Imagine you look around and uh, 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 uh. Eating mattresses can lead to liver damage, intestinal blockages, and even death. The fact that people even know that to be a truth is nuts to me. I think she's the only case study. <laughs> How often do you eat mattress foam? I consume it every day. And like one sitting, like I would eat like about this thick. She just, just pulled it out. <laughs> Pack lunch. Problem you face is you're going to have a hole in your intestine or a complete bowel obstruction and it's going to be an emergency and emergency means you could die just jeff you can change this i am going to change this bullshit I, I, i'm calling bullshit as well there like you, you don't do something for 15 years go to a doctor once on tv and go well oh, well now it's gonna change oh hang on hang on mate jennifer has eaten mattress fewer than five times since filming hopefully she can put it to rest good Good. I've been James Marriott. Thank you, everyone. I'm 53 years old. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm addicted to drinking my urine. Lad. Lad, 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 lad. That's not on. And no, what it is, right, if anyone on YouTube's watching this for a monetization review, it's just Mountain Dew. That's what it is. Now she consumes up to five glasses every day. I like warm pee. She's taking the piss, Will. <laughs> The first time I drank my urine, I didn't throw up, and it wasn't horrible. Is she refilling? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, yeah, yeah. My urine does smell, depending on what I eat. Oh my god, that looked chunky, that looked chunky. I don't like this, I don't like this. Carrie decided against chemo, instead turning to urine therapy. Urine therapy? I am. What for breakfast this morning? You want to just take the rest of this yourself? Carrie has also found other ways to consume urine. What, she cleans her teeth with it? I use urine for toothpaste. Uh, well, Henry VIII used to do that with little boys piss, right? Wait, what? Like old kings used to have little boys piss and then they'd clean their teeth with it. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. We should cancel him. We should cancel Henry VIII for that. It is a bit noncy, really, isn't it? Put it in your skin and it completely changes. Oh my God! Ah! There are creams in the world for this stuff. This is my eye cup. And I fill it up with urine. Oh yeah! What is this, Will? I can't show that, bro. I can't show that. Oh. She's just put piss on her eye. My name is Riley, I'm 25 years old, I live outside of Buffalo, New York, and I'm addicted to being an adult baby. See, this is me, Will. I am baby. James, shut up. Riley spends nearly 12 hours a day dressed- uh, well, like, what level of unemployed is that? <laughs> I started wearing diapers when I was about 13, and then that- What? No, you went- <laughs> You mean six months? I mean, we don't get back on the diapers. It's not something you revisit. And I definitely don't tell people unless I think they're going to be okay with this. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I don't get this. You're on fucking TLC in every commentary video in the fucking world. I do wet my diapers, but I don't do anything else in them. I never have to use public restrooms, which is, you know, something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. What, so she just pisses on, on, on the go? I agree, that's better. Actually just pissing yourself. Like public restrooms, nah, but pissing your pants, pretty nice. Well, as we've learned from a, from a previous strange addiction, it actually has quite beneficial qualities. Today, Riley is finally ready to confide in Candace and reveal her addiction. I know a Candace will. Candice what? Candice no- yeah, I don't know what I was expecting to see. Um, it was definitely a surprise. She's screaming internally. Oh god, yeah. She's never coming back. If you told me this, I, I would never speak to you ever again. <laughs> Unless I was really barren on uploads. And I'm like, sorry, daddy. Oh, I'm fucking shut up. I don't want to hear. My name is Lisa. I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan. What do you think? I saw her painting. So I reckon she paints the body parts of dead people. And I'm addicted to eating cat hair. Eating cat hair? Just chewing it is relaxing. She said cat hair. It's a comforting I, feeling. I think it's just hair. Ah! Oh, no, it is cat hair. Oh, lol. Shall I get Otto and do it to him? Yeah. Do that, James. I just don't understand why anyone would do this. 
There you go. When my sister told me she was eating cat hair, I was shocked. Look at the shock in the poor cat's eyes! That cat has severe trauma. Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. There's nothing wrong with eating a bit of pussy. <laughs> But eating cat hair ah! isn't the only way Lisa feeds her addiction. I groom my cat with my tongue. Oh, no! Like a mama cat would do to her kitten. Are you my good girl? Ah! Yeah, that's bad. Bro, this got to be illegal in at least a few states. My cat grooms me. Because, like, we have, like, play fights. And then if he, if he scratches somewhere, he licks it afterwards. Like, he always makes sure that I'm all right. It's quite nice. My name is Nicole, and I am addicted to pony play. Now, oh. to be honest, right, this frame here is a bit of a relief because I thought it was just going to be her wanking off a horse. <laughs> yeah. She looks fucking now like a horse. Pony play allows me to indulge in... You know what? I'm glad she did the makeup because yeah. that made it a lot more convincing. If she hadn't told me, I would have thought that's just a fucking Shetland pony. Yeah, no, where is she, actually? I can't see her. I just see ponies. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you cannot take that seriously, can you? That's horrendous. Oh my god. Oh, nailed it, lass. Absolutely like a horse. Try and get her to do an obstacle course. Imagine they enter her for the Grand National, and she has, like, someone riding her, and then she loses, and they put her down at the end of it. My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old. It is. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Come on, fella! But Will... What has driven him to be like this? Oh, James, fuck off. <laughs> Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car. Have you seen the people who obsess over um, the Porsche in Cars? <laughs> no. What's her name? What's her name? I bet you know the car's name, Will. I think it's like Casey. It's on like the tip of my tongue. There's this Reddit page that I've just, you know, I've just heard of, right? I don't have a Porsche myself, obviously. Uh Sally, Sally, Sally. Okay, now you've said that I'm obsessed with her, I don't want to tell you more about it. <laughs> but people want to fuck this car. People do, yeah. No, I don't want to fuck Sally, bro. <laughs> Can someone please make some fan cams? I just saw it on Twitter, right? Someone had, like, drawn, like, the inside of a exhaust pipe as, like, a fanny, and it was dis despicable and gross, and I don't want to fuck it. I don't. This isn't something you stumble upon. Hang on, there was a tweet that said, I know her little muffler be gripping. That's an interesting cosplay, Mia. What gave you that idea? <laughs> He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. What drink would the car have on its first date? What, James? And gin and tonic. That's was... <laughs> okay, quite good. Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But I just absolutely love Chase. If you were to fall in love with a car, it wouldn't be that car. Nah, nothing particularly remarkable. It would be Sally Carrera from Cars. It would be. I don't want to fuck the car. But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Does that feel good? Ah! One of his more bold <laughs> positions is for me to be underneath him. <laughs> These have got to be paid actors! We always have such a good time together. He likes a lot of the same music I do. This is one of the ones that I've seen this so many times, I'm now desensitized to it. Also, the car has to listen to the same music that you do. It doesn't really have an option. Imagine if the car just went, fuck this, mate. I'm not putting on Blink-182 again. There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. It's not a he. No, it, is. it looks like a he to me. It's an inanimate object, Will. No, no, no. It's a, it's a bloke, though, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, actually, my guitars have genders, so... Do you want to meet Thorn? You called him Thorn. Why did you call him Thorn? He's a thorn in my side. He's a thorn in your ass by the scenes of him right up there. <laughs> you know, I'll show us your guitar. It's very pretty. You definitely got a bit of something going on for that guitar. It actually didn't come like this. I've just been fucking it so hard that it's now vintage. <laughs> Can you give her a tune? Uh... No. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area just lean against him a little and... Oh my god. That's the kind of picture you'd post if the car died. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. Do you think he gets jealous when he takes it in for its MOT? Like, with the men, like, leaning over its hood? Oh, yeah. Rubbing it down, you know, oiling, oiling him up, giving him a nice massage, you know? Mm. 
My name is Toby. I'm 33. Bollocks. He looks early 20s. He looks 14. And I spent about $100,000 to achieve my perfect Justin Bieber look. Ah, oh. I see. What I do with my money is I get surgery to look more like Justin Bieber. <laughs> he looked more like, he looked more like that starting. He looks a bit like Gary Barlow. He had this baby face that I just really liked. I don't know. And by that you mean he was a child. I can definitely look back and say that all those surgeries, they were really, like, really successful. Can you? 54-year-old <laughs> Ayana has over 15 inches of toenails oh, what? and considers them her babies. 15 inches of toe? Fucking hell! Vincent is taking Ayana to a dance class to prove his point and convince her to cut her toenails. Oh, that's grim. Five, six, ready, and one. <sighs> Chief. What? Did you see them hanging from her hand? Five, six, oh. ready. Look, look, is, is that, oh my is that God. her nails? Yeah. She must give those cursed hand jobs on the planet. Imagine you being able to move around more freely without the fear of you breaking a toenail and uh, how much more healthier you can become. Surely, just trim them. What's the addiction there? There'll be an A plus for you fighting your diabetes. How are you gonna tell me to just cut my toenail? Yeah, I mean, if she's suffering more from diabetes, this really could be uh, the nail in the coffin. Did you not? Did you not like my joke? The nail in the coffin. Oh, come on. I don't get it. Will. The nail in the coffin. Will. Oh, the nail, because oh, she's got long nails. All right, that's the end of this, Will and Jim. We hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to James. Subscribe to me. Like the video if you have enjoyed. And we will see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye-bye.